In this problem, we're asked to determine the centroid of the shaded area shown. So we'll be using the equations that we developed in the lecture. equation for x bar and the equation for y bar is similar. Okay, so our first step is to choose uh, an appropriate differential element, dA, and we have y in terms of x. So that's a pretty good hint that we want to use a vertical rectangular element. I'll draw that in here. Okay, so this is dA. Here's the centroid of our element dA. This point on the curve is our generic xy. The element is dx wide. And it's as its height is y. Let's go ahead and put that on here. Okay. And the location of the centroid of the element x tilde is there and that just equals x and y tilde yeah, I'm going to show it over on the left side I think Show it over here. Y tilde is y over 2. It's half the height of the element of the rectangle. The height of the rectangle is y, so half of that is y over 2. Okay. Now our second step is to express dA in terms of the differentiate, differentiating element dx, since we have a vertical element. So I'm going to write dA equals y dx, but we know to integrate that we're going to have to express y in terms of x which we have, we know that y equals x cubed. The, the curve is y equals x cubed. So I can substitute in for y x cubed. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to determine the coordinates of the centroid of the differential element, the rectangular element. And I already did that on the drawing, but let's do it again. I said that x tilde equals x. 
and y tilde equals y over 2, but I can also express that if I substitute in for y. I know that y equals x cubed for this curve, so for this function. So y tilde could also be expressed as x cubed over 2. Okay. Now I'm going to write my expression for x bar. And I'll rewrite what I wrote at the top of the problem. It's going to be the integral of x tilde dA divided by the integral of dA, which is just the area under the curve. Okay, so this in this last step where I'm actually calculating x, x bar, I need to make sure I have everything in terms of x. Since I have a vertical element, I'm integrating with respect to x. And I need to determine my limits of integration. So the numerator is going to be, I'm going to integrate from 0 to 1. How do I know that? Because I'm interested in the area under the curve between the y-axis and the value of, of x of 1 meter. x tilde is x. I got that from right here. And dA is x cubed dx. Okay. And then in the denominator, I just repeat dA. It's just x cubed dx. Okay. I do that integration, and I get x to the fifth over 5 from 0 to 1 over x to the fourth over 4. 0 to 1, which equals 1 fifth over 1 fourth, which equals 4 fifths, or 0 0.8 meters. Okay, so there's x bar. Now I'm going to do y bar. And y bar, I'll rewrite this, is equal to the integral of y tilde dA all over dA. Now I could set up a horizontal element for this, differential element. I, I, I could have a horizontal rectangle for dA for this. But it's going to be easier in this problem, maybe not in all problems, but it's going to be easier in this problem just to use the same vertical element and substitute in for y tilde in terms of x and then integrate with respect to x. Okay, so I'm going to say the integral of y tilde, remember up here I said that y tilde equals y over 2 or I can express it as x cubed over 2. So I'm going to put in at x cubed over 2 there. dA is going to be the same that I used in x for x bar. It's going to be x cubed 
dx. And again, dA is the same thing in the denominator, x cubed dx. Again, I'm integrating from 0 to 1. So let me simplify that a little first, do an extra step in here. It's the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 6th over 2 over, there should be a dx there, over the integral of x cubed dx. And when I do that, I get x to the 7th over 14 from 0 to 1 over x to the 4th over 4. Same as for same denominator for that we found in x bar. And that's from 0 to 1. So we get 1 14th over 1 fourth. Okay. And you do that math and you get 0 0.2857 meters for y bar. Okay, so let's rewrite that. I have x bar equals 0 0.8 meters, y bar equals, I'll round that a little bit, 0 0.286 meters. And now let's do a sanity check on that. We, we look at that curve and that's almost a triangle. So let me just use a different color here. Uh, let's use purple. So if the area I was finding the centroid of was triangular, then that's a simple shape. I know that the centroid would be at, I'll draw it down here, 0 0.667 meters in X and zero point three 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 meters in Y. Now since the actual function, the actual curve, the area under the curve is less than that triangle, I would expect my centroid of the actual area under y equals x cubed to be sort of further this way right and so I'll bounce the answers that I got against that and if they don't match up with that check then I've done something wrong so let's look so I got x bar equals 0 0.8 so my actual x, x bar for the area under y equals x cubed is over here somewhere, somewhere along x equals 0 0.8, and y bar is 0 0.286, okay, which is less than the 0 0.33. So that makes sense. x bar was further to the right, which I expected then for the triangular area, and y bar was closer to the x-axis than the y bar of the triangular area I used to check it. So that's a quick check um, that 
uh, was appropriate for this this problem.